Hi guys, Togo here with a new video. In this video will be my second video on my second channel. I'm not, I'm going to stop with counting the amount of videos on this channel, but uh, I want to preface that I have a primary channel, 4K subscribers, more or less, and uh, we're actually going for retail PvP, but this channel will be based for classic WoW or any version outside of retail and also hardcore classic, which is also a fan favorite mode, but also for me, it is actually very fun to play, so I invite you guys to test it. It is more chill play style to go for, and I think as a whole, very fun to to just relax playing the game. So this website, I wanted to show you guys a fantastic website. I'm going to put in the description, and you can play around it. Basically, you will find guides about hardcore. You can click on it. And basically, you will have a great guide going on to it with talent builds and such. Very fun. And in general, with this website, you can choose your class or spec you want to play in hardcore. If you don't have a lot of creativity or you're an alcoholic like me, you don't know what to play because you have a lot of hesitations, this website will help you to decide which spec or class you want to play going forward. You play, in general, your class in classic, right? But sometimes you will you want to do a challenge like for example on only fire mage or only arcane mage or only frost mage. And the good thing here here is they show you guys the survivability, the damage and utility of set specs. Of course, if you think otherwise, you can submit your own ratings here. And you by clicking it, you can, can then submit your own ratings and the reasoning behind it. And I think as a whole, it's, it's pretty much hit, like spot on. Like for example, a Retribution Paladin, the damage is very B tier, but the survivability is a bit A tier. While Holy and Protection, because of their healing or their protection uh, talents, makes it a bit more survival, survival, but the damage is a bit worse, right? And the same for Priest, you have Holy Priest, Shadow Priest, Discipline Priest, a lot of great things going on. Yeah, I think... With this, you can actually decide what class you want to play. If you want to play a mage and you don't know if you want to play arcane, fire, or frost, it can actually give you an indication on what you can expect playing an arcane mage, or a fire mage, or a frost mage. Frost mage, the damage is a bit worse, but you can go for an AoE build. A fire mage is a bit better in damage, but you have a little bit less survivability because you don't have ice barrier at level 40, and you don't have a lot of slow since you are going to focus on fire spells. And the same for arcane. Arcane you have not a lot of spells, so you have Arcane Missiles and Arcane Explosion, and as a whole, the survivability is also a bit lower because the slows are not there, or the um, instant damage from Fire Mage isn't really there. So in general, I think this website is very fantastic. Um, like for example, if you want to play a Warlock, you can, you, you can, you can basically decide which specs you want to play here. Uh, what I find interesting, for example, on the Warrior, they say that Fury is the S tier damage, you have a bit less utility and a bit more survivability because you have a lot of stealth heals because of a lot of procs from that, those talents and also Enrage which gives you more damage uh, towards your class. I think at level 40, Arms Warrior has more damage, especially at level 30 where uh, sweep, Sweeping Strikes for example, but um, a lot of great things going on. I, I really like this website. I use it for my um, random picks. I'm going to go for a hardcore, for example, instead of going on a random picker website where I'm going to type Paladin, Mage, and such. Here, I can basically go like towards the end of the page, go for a roll for it, and there you're going to choose your faction. If you don't care about the faction, you can go for any. If you want to go for Alliance, you can go for Alliance. If you want to go Horde, you can go Horde. Like for example, here, I'm going to go, I'm going to go with Alliance because I like Alliance, and here you have a Gnome Demology Warlock, and you know what's fun? You can also have a general achievements that you go, can go for. You don't need to, but if you don't have any idea on how you, or how you want to play, you can basically play, nobody got time for that, and basically uh, not play with any professions. So that's, uh, that, that's going to be a bit difficult, especially on a hardcore way of playing. But you can make it harder for yourself. And the class achievement is, for example, here. Complete the hardcore challenge without any point summoning a demon other than the imp. That is possible, again, but as a demology warlock, you sh I think you, you want to play other uh, pets. But 
again making it harder for yourself you can go for a go again if you're dying with this uh, with this tune and you will have a human holy paladin and homebound so basically uh, you will just not leave at any point the continent so if you're starting at eastern kingdoms you have to play in eastern kingdoms and never go at kalimdor which is very hard in classic because again you don't have a lot of quests and a lot of dungeons as well and um, yeah, sometimes you want to go for Kalimdor, go for Tanarissa, for example, but you will be pretty much homebound. And if you want to go for it, you can go for it. If you don't want to go for it, do not go for it. Here, hammer time, complete the hardcore challenge without at any point equipping a melee weapon other than the two-handed maze. So you will be a two-handed holy paladin. Uh, of course, you don't have to go holy. You can also go retry and go for hammer time. But again, it gives you ideas on how you can play the, 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 the game mode how you can play with the community and how you can actually choose yourself or at least people can choose for you the uh, place that you can go for of course if you have a lot of imagination and you 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 are pretty much you want to play warrior and that's it then this website is not going to be helpful for you but if you're like me and you don't know uh, for example you're on the uh, character selection and you don't really know what class you want to play because you are hesitating i want to play druid i want to play warrior i want to play hunter this can help you to actually decide which class or spec you want to play and you can give yourself like for example three classes you're going to write warrior hunter and druid for example and whenever you're going to go for a game the first one is going to give you warrior druid or hunter that is the one that you're going to play for example here dwarf arms warrior and you play sword and board so basically with a sword or at least with a melee weapon and a shield so or you can also play just in general without this this is also just an idea you don't really have to follow the class achievement but um i find it fun to to also make an extra difficulty because the difficulty about classic hardcore is not only die, dying but it is also the uh, stupidity factor right if you're doing like stupid things like for example go afk in wilderness wilderness for example or taking too much mobs on you and you you you, you thinking that you're going to survive for example um here i think this one is also a great achievement like no health potions it makes it a lot harder for you to actually survive especially as a warrior very fun if you want to play a horde again you go horde go again and then you will see a beautiful protection warrior Tauren, and you can play Berserker as well, so no no plate, no mail, and no shield. But it's possible, again, if you don't really want to go protection, you cannot go for protection, but you have a lot of ways to go for. Here, you cannot repair anything, so basically, you will, you, you will be able to uh, change your, your armor and your weapons uh, pretty, pretty often. But again, more difficulty, more fun. And I think by adding more difficulty, it makes it also very fun to play. Uh, anyways, this is my video. I wanted to actually show you guys this fantastic website that was on a Discord channel uh, for Hardcore. They posted it. I think it's also always fun to have extra tools to help you in your journey. Again, thank you for subscribing to the channel. If you haven't done that yet, please do. Like the video if you like the video. Comment below what you think about Hardcore, about the video, and about this website. I think it's a fantastic website to go for and to play around. If you haven't checked my primary channel, please do. It is Retail PvP if you're not interested at that. I can understand, but it is retail PvP arena, solo shuffle and such. So if you want to check that out, please check that out. And we will catch you very soon in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.